Let's go, let's go, uh. Oh, well, welcome back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to Two Boys and a Mic. Two Boys and a Mic. Two Boys and a Mic, episode number two. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> and uh, as you can tell, Nudge, my friend, my co-host, has changed his voice as promised. Yeah. <laughs> You're I so like high now, Nudge. Very much. Nudge, did someone, kick, did someone cut off your balls? Yeah, one of those little exploding testicles um, <laughs> popped out of the screen. It got you right in the balls. Yeah, <laughs> they're both gone. Well, I've got to say, uh, uh, firstly, I think Nudge and I want to say thank you to uh, our 46 viewers. Oh, my God, it's so cool that we have 40. Yeah, that's 45 40. more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> um, and we've got six subscribers. So thank you to our six subscribers. Um, yeah. That's, that's really cool. Yay. <laughs> uh, On our way. YouTube. We are. We are. So um, I thought we'd start this <laughs> week's segment off with a, new, with a new segment that Nudge came up with, and it's uh, the thought of the day. And uh, oh, yeah. so, Nudge, what's your random thought of the day today? Um, have you ever noticed that when you microwave a one-day-old Whopper, it tastes a bit like a donut kebab? Now, when you put this on, on our little, our little, I don't know, point view thing. Yeah. I was, I was like, what the hell? Why, why do you think this? Have you actually done this? Have you microwaved a one-day? Yeah, yeah, I did it today. You did it today? Yeah. Does it really taste like a donut kebab? Yeah, it does. <laughs> the meat, it tastes like a donut kebab and it's got the, it's got the tomato and the lettuce and onion and cheese. <laughs> it's just like a donut kebab. <laughs> now, I, I, again, I can't, I can't compare because I don't have, I don't, I haven't had a Whopper microwave, but I do agree that microwaves do change the food. I'm constantly arguing with my friends and family and colleagues at work. Yeah. That, yeah, like I'll say, oh, like it always happens with chicken. So I'll have something left over for chicken and I'll bring a chicken lunch in, right? Yeah. And it's old. Like it's a day old. And I'll microwave it. The chicken tastes different, man. But it doesn't taste like a doner kebab. Like a doner kebab is a good taste. The yeah. Chicken, the chicken tastes like gross crap. What about so what, pizza? When you um, microwave. I don't, I, see, I just don't microwave food that often. Like I'll microwave <coughs> milk and I, yeah, I know I'm, I'm really yeah. lame. But you, you like microwave pizza too. What is microwave pizza? I taste? microwave everything. You microwave Yeah, that's how I grew up, microwave food. Microwave everything, hey? Yeah, <laughs> pizza and microwave. Life tips. <laughs> you know, I'm one nice. thing my brother, <laughs> pizza and microwave and nudge. <laughs> Pizza. You just need a freezer and a microwave. Freeze your leftovers, microwave next day, or in a month's time, still good. The trick is though, you have to eat it pretty quickly before it gets all hard. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. I could imagine. Anyway. Uh, I remember one gross thing my brother did. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have a younger brother. Um, so if he's listening out there, please, uh, you know, be nice. But yeah, no, he used to do this. Hello, Nemo's brother. Yeah, what? Hello, Nemo's brother. <laughs> but he used to do something really gross with our microwave. He yeah. used to microwave cheese. Like you ever, um, yeah, like you get like a block of tasty cheese. Yeah. And he'd pop this huge chunk off and then he'd microwave it. And it always made the house stink. And I hated but it. Wouldn't it stick to the plate? No, well, yeah, I think that that was part of its appeal for him. I think. I think he kind of he liked he eating had, the paint yeah. off the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He'd like get it. He'd scrape it off, I think. And he, if I remember correctly, he'd put it between like two pieces of bread. He'll probably say I'm making it up if he did yeah. his. Maybe he got hooked from his kindergarten art class. Ate a cube of paint. You know what goes good with paint? Melted cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nudge. 
This is why I podcast with you, right? <laughs> Oh, so what's been going on, man? Tell us what's been tell tell our loyal viewers what's been happening with you this week. Oh, uh, nothing much. So. Just the same old, you know, going to work, getting tired, um, practicing my coding, playing games. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. What what game have you been have you been playing, Revenant? Uh, did you destroy yeah, the? Yeah, yeah. Um, did yeah. you explode? Uh, destroy the exploding testicles? Yes, yeah, finally. Um. I got to play with my friend, and it's so much easier. <laughs> We've cleared so much now in like two different, like maybe two hour playthroughs. So four hours all up. We cleared a lot. Oh my god! It's, Thank yeah, god. It's so much more. It's more fun now. Excellent. I'm glad. I'm very, very glad. Yeah, it's um, not frustrating at all. You can, You should play with us. Oh, I'd, dude, I'd love to, but it, there's like heaps of stuff coming out that I really want to buy. Yeah. I'm worried. I'm still worried. I'm going to put the remote control through the through the um, TV if I play. It. Although, <laughs> like I say, if you guys are there, maybe yeah. it'll be easier. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really easy. When this, like even with two, it made it so much easier. So with a third, it's like yeah, it's mm. a Hmm. Cool. Um, well, I have also been working. I had a uh, a pretty good weekend. Oh, happy birth! Uh, happy Father's Day to you! Hey, happy Sunday. Father's Day to all the fathers, to all the fathers and the I uncles. Have normal voices, <laughs> and all those people who have normal. What did you get? Anything special? Nudge? Did, did your father um, buy it? I got a flask. <laughs> a fl- oh, like a drinking yeah. flask? Yeah, yeah. So Wet. It's pretty cool on the instructions. It basically says only put out alcohol in this. Don't put anything else. <laughs> it specifically says don't put juice, just alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Well, I got a um, I got a frame filled with lollies, which was pretty sick. So like a picture frame, and inside <laughs> the picture frame there was a pack of the Jelly Bellies, which yes, ladies and gentlemen, they are my favourite lolly. And then yeah. my favourite chocolate bar, a Mars bar. And then, you know those Japanese high chews that oh, yeah. lovely wife has got me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that. They're just, they're all around the edge. And then it's got Star Wars stickers. And I'm looking at it right now and it says, I love you, which my daughter did, which is very cute. <laughs> yeah. And it says, Dad is, it said Dad is amazing. It now says Dad is amazing because I think my stupid cats <laughs> love everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I got a card that, um, you know, my kid made from Saturday school. And I felt bad. Yeah. Like, I opened it up and was like, oh, look, it's a plane. And they go, no, it's a bullet train. <laughs> I got it completely wrong. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I know. That's what I meant. <laughs> not plane. How, how, yeah, yeah, not plane. How do you get a plane mixed up with a bullet train? They look very uh, different. It had these little wings folded in. And it was part of a card, but I thought you're supposed to fold them out. Yeah. Hang on, I'm googling bullet trains versus um, bullet trains versus planes, just to see the difference. <laughs> yeah, I put wings on them. Looks similar. Yeah. You've been? Have you been on a, a Shinkansen? <clears throat> yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. How good it's is it? It's pretty fun. It is the best piece of transportation I've ever been. If you ever go to Japan, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go on a Shinkansen because it's so worth it. Just, just even if you just, I don't know, even if you just go for a joyride, it's freaking amazing. Yeah, but there's um, lunch boxes and the food and stuff they sell. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. My friend, uh, my my son got that while we were on the on the plane. It's very yeah. cool. Japanese transportation is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I digress. I digress. So, one thing I've been doing this week though is I've been playing a little bit of Destiny Two again. So, like, I've, I've Nudge and I have played Destiny Two together, yeah. and um, I, I've always gone back to I played Destiny One for a long time till it got way too grindy, and then I stopped playing that. But I've, I've gone back to playing Destiny Two, and. I was sort of like, I was. I started playing it because as many <coughs> maybe don't know or you do know, but out there in the world, um, Activision sold the rights to Bun, uh, back to Bungie. Oh, so, yeah. Is that why you played? Did you get that email? 
and Bethan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so anybody who's playing it or you know does it, they basically they Bungie is now being sort of forced off the Blizzard's Activision servers for obvious yeah. reasons. They can't steam now, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to steam on the second of October. So okay. I um I move I've moved all my gear over and they're doing that for free. So anybody who has got Destiny Two and listens to this, make sure you do your transfer. I think it's the 30th of September. You're yeah. welcome, Bungie. Bungie. Bungie support, you know, support us, Bungie. We love you. Um, I do love Bungie. They're, they're fantastic game. But it made me think about something. So, like, lately I've been, I've been playing more indie titles, like indie video games versus yeah. AAA titles. And I'm thinking, I, I, want, I guess what I wanted to talk to you about was, like, what do you think about the difference between um, – you know, like AAA titles versus indie titles. Like, what what do you think the pros and cons are of that? Ah, uh, it's just kind of um, like AAA has like that overall polish. You know, like the graphics, the the sound effect, the music, the voice acting. It's really cool. Um, it's kind of like watching a like a Hollywood blockbuster. Then, yeah, yeah. But the indie, there are some really good indie titles out there. Yeah, like. Yeah. You know, you check, um, you know, if you're anybody PC lover, you know, you just hit um, hit up the Steam community page. And even in store, there are, like, just so many cool little indie titles. And I just, I, I sort of wonder, do you reckon, like, let, let's let's skip forward 20 years into the future. Do you think this the AAA guys like Ubisoft and uh well, Bungie and Activision and Blizzard, are they still gonna be around or do you think it's just gonna be independent video game market? What do you I reckon? think they'll still be around. They'll definitely, yeah. Yeah. So you reckon you reckon the corporate but, machine but the will indies still... will like grow, definitely. They'll like um because it's getting easier and easier to self publish and self teach yourself. Yeah, yeah. project. Yeah, see, that's what I think. And I think, I, you know, I, I, again, I think I said it last week, but I, I, I tip my hat to anybody who has the balls to make a game and get it out there because mm. there really are. There's some, there are some amazing indie titles that are just, they blow my mind. Like, ah, uh, paper, Papers, Please comes to yeah, my mind. That was great. That's a fantastic indie game, man. Um, just brilliant. And, like, <laughs> Graphics were just, you know, the graphics weren't anything special, but it was that storyline. Like, the creator really thought about what they were doing and how they were going to do it. Um, yeah, they should be teachers. They're so good at, like, tricking you to do really mundane tasks. <laughs> That's what yeah, it yeah. is. It's stamping papers all day. Yeah, but you get some really, um, you get some dodgy characters in that game, man. Like, yeah, like, yeah really think about who you're letting through and stuff mm. Mm. um what i you know what i think i love about the triple a title guys though is like i'm looking at i'm looking at steam right now and like this week there's a special on the mega man franchise and there's all the new mega man games so there's like mega man 11 which came out last year in october but then they've got the legacy collection number one legacy yeah. collection number two mega man x legacy collection one and two like it's it's I find, I get, I don't know, I'm not annoyed, but it's just sort of like the, the, the big AAA teams, they don't, you think with all the money they have, they would come up with like heaps of games every year, but really it feels like they just rehash. Yeah, yeah, a that's, stuff. yeah. like a lot of sport games are like that. The same yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh, look, I want sports games are going to get a whole episode to themselves. But you know what? I blame Apple. Because you blame uh, Apple? Yeah, because it's kind of going the Apple route, you know, like minor like, it, like changes, minor improvements um, every iteration. That's what yeah. sports games are doing. Like tiny little changes, new rosters, and that's it. And you pay like 60 bucks. Yeah, that's it. See what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. And then, like, like, so I'm looking on Steam at the moment, and so I'm, at the moment I'm looking at the, just a random indie title, I think. It looks like an indie title called Child of Mortar. And, like, you know, it's pixelated graphics, and, like, this, this group's obviously tried really hard yeah. to get it to work. And then 
I just click over a couple of pages and there's Final Fantasy uh, VIII Remastered. So like Black. Square Enix. Square Enix, all they've done is gone, oh, okay, we'll put a sh- cell shade on it mm. and we'll resell it for, hang on, let's just check the whopping <laughs> price. <laughs> oh, it's on, on um, Steam, it's only 26 but, I think oh, okay. on but on PlayStation Network, I think it's pretty expensive. Hang on, let me check. Oh, can you access this store from play? No, you can't. Hang on, get it on your phone. One second. Yeah, so that's... um. So what do you think, what, what do you prefer to play? Do you prefer to play the AAA titles yourself? Um, you I think you need a bit of both. Or do you have a bad? Yeah, yeah. But sometimes I get sick of the kind of like pixelated graphics. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of been, I feel like it's been overdone. And I know, you know, it's done because it's easier to color it as well. Or yeah, 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 artistically, yeah. Less, um, I guess for programming it's easier. Yeah, well, no, yeah, for sure, it's easier for programming. But um, yeah. I think, me personally, I, I, I love pixelated graphics. It, uh, you know, they, they harken back to my youth and when I used to play video. Don't you get sick of it? Like, every, oh, not every, but like a lot of indie games, they just kind of go for that same look. Yeah, I, yeah, look, for me, I think, for me, I think I get a bit annoyed with like the type of pixelated graphics like maybe you'd see in Terraria, like a game like that. Mm-hmm. Or like where it's really pixelated, I kind of go, oh, okay, we don't need to harken back to the 1970s and 80s. Like that, that, that time in video gaming is dead. Okay, yeah. we're well beyond that. But some, there, are some, there are definitely some really cool pixel games out there that have, um, have some pretty sick graphics really, but, you know. Yeah, but it's like, think about it. If you play like, you know, Detroit, and then, like, you know that girl when you start the game and she acts like the, the menu and she asks you, like, what language and all that stuff in Detroit to become human? Yeah, 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 yeah. When I saw that, I thought it was a person. When I first saw that, it blew my mind. Oh, yeah. That, see, you told me about that first, yeah. and I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. And then I got it recently because it was free in the PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. And I, I too, I was blown away by it. And I, she looks like an actress. She yeah, looks probably. Like, yeah, probably. Yeah, she looks like, um, I wanted to say Scarlett Johansson. It's not her. If you know who that is, if that is an actress, can you, you know, loyal listeners, can you um, comment in the section below? Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got zero comments. That's the only thing. I'm really happy we've got 46 views. I'm even really happy we've got four likes. And we've got six subscribers. Well, it's kind of four subscribers because... No, don't tell them that. Why? They have a right to know. The people have a right to know. YouTube is going to crack down on us. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, no, there's not. Um, but we don't have any comments. So comment, people. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you want us to talk about out there in the real world. Um, but yeah, okay, well, that's cool. I'm glad yeah. we talked about that. Um, yeah, I do like, I've got, I'm waiting on an indie title actually to come out on my Switch called Police Story, but I'm, I'm not sure when it's coming out. Okay. It's, like, it's meant to be like the 19th of this month, I think, so I'm very excited about that one. I mean, um, um one of my favourite games is an indie title. It's called um, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, and that's not pixel and the graphic. It's a really, yeah, it's an awesome game. You should all try it. <laughs> there you go. Nudge's recommendation for the week, guys. Yeah. Game of the week. Uh, hang on. I'm just looking at Final Fantasy here now. Nine. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, uh, they haven't done the remastered version on the PlayStation. Are you going to get Final Fantasy VII? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Man, you'd be nuts if you didn't get Final. I put, I bought Final Fantasy for my Switch because it's Final Fantasy VII. Because I thought, oh, I want to relive this before it comes out as a remake mode. And yeah, I, I, how do you feel about that? How do I feel about them re bringing it out? No, 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 um, no, no, the one, the remake. I mean, not the remake, the remastered. Oh, the remastered. Yeah. Um. 
I don't know. No, I tried to play it. I got it on Steam like a couple of years ago and I tried to play it and I was really excited. And then I got to yeah. that part where you fight at the top of the tower, you know, in the first kind of hour oh, yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one of the guys dies and stuff. Yeah. I, I don't know. I got I kind of like this gameplay is kind of outdated. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt. Like, so, like, I think after Final Fantasy Nine, yeah, Nine, yeah, um, they left that turn-based fighting behind, and it went to sort of like a real-time fighting thing with uh, Final Fantasy Ten and Final Fantasy Ten X Two or whatever it was, yeah, and, then, and all of them like, and then, and then you get Final Fantasy. What are we up to? Final Fantasy Fourteen. Oh, fancy 12, whatever. I don't know, I'm following after 10. Hang on, what did I get? But you know, like, um, I thought it's not just the gameplay, it's kind of like, you know, back then, um, yeah. back then the story would have been considered, like, really good for a game. Oh, it was. It you was know? So but, like, now it's not, it's not that good, and you have to read it. It's not voice acted. And like, you know, you gotta read it, it's gotta be a half decent story, but it just doesn't do for you anymore. Because we've been spoiled. Yeah, I agree. Yes. And like Knights of the Old Republic and stuff, all these awesome stories. Yeah. I feel like that's dropped off as we as I've gotten older. Like the story writing is not as good as the days of like Old Republic and Final Fantasy. Like even the Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy fifteen. I got that yeah. on my base station and I played it and I thought, oh, yeah, this is cool. But the voice acting didn't make sense and the story was a little bit weird. It wasn't making yeah. a heap of sense to me. And, like, I know Final Fantasy games, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Like, you know, Final Fantasy VII was an epic journey of awesomeness. I, Me and my friends and my teachers are going to kill me for saying this, but we wag school to play that game. Yeah. Like back then, you know, like the twists they had in that story were like mind blowing. But now it's so predictable, you know. It's like yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And so yeah, yeah, this is what I mean. Like I feel like the reason I brought out that 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 tale, the, 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 you know, that question about indie games versus triple uh, A team. I feel like the triple A guys that just want to get the game out. Like yes, it's more polished. Yes, it has voice acting. Yes, yeah. it's amazing to play. They are. There are a lot of games like Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. I'm really hoping that. Oh, have you heard about the stuff they've changed? Like, no more gender? No? <laughs> yeah, it sounds really stupid. No? Yeah, you can't shoot well, gender game. anymore, apparently. Well, what, what's the point of playing an MMO, uh, an RPG, that you can't choose your gender? Uh, I don't know. What's Steve, what's Barjo going to do? Barjo always picks, like, a weird demented human or a weird-looking girl. Yeah, and apparently all the cutscenes, it's not in third person anymore, so you can't see the character. Aww. Oh, what? Kind of going TC. Hang on, I'm Googling this. I want to look at this up. 2077 changes. On April the 16th, 2020. Let's look up 2077 gender changes or something. It'll come out. Yeah, so you hear this guy knows what to do, like I said last week. I'm crap at Google searching. He's fantastic. <laughs> I've just been on YouTube. You see? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh well, one of my one of my favourite um, YouTubers who works for lots of different companies, Alana Pierce, has said something about it. Remove the binary gender option. Reported the yeah. genders in character creation. That's bull crap. <laughs> what would you do? So what? We all have to play dudes. I don't know no, 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 no. Every where there is no gender. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no gender. You're just a cyborg of some description. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Bringing metrics and making conclusions. Players will not have to decide on a gender when they create the character. And our character creation menu, for instance, compared to the last demo, we now have so many more options. And so, <laughs> A gender anymore, you don't choose. I want to be a female or a male character, you now choose a body type because we want you to feel free to create any character you want. Oh, what? That's so funny. Shouldn't that be a third option? You know, like you can be male, female, or you know, like unidentified or 
whatever. Prefer not to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I totally agree with that. That's... I was just taking that choice away from the players. Yeah, that sucks. Ah, well, that's a bit of a disappointment. Anyway. Yeah. Um, there you go. So moving on. Yeah. I'm, you know, I've never asked you. We've been friends for years and years and years and years. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen, Nudge is ancient and old, as yeah. you heard his voice last uh Last month, but I, yeah, I, I once met Nudge under a bridge, um, yeah. and uh, I, you That's remember that, don't you? He was trying to negotiate the car. <laughs> he was trying to steal. What he actually was trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, was steal my soul. But we, we ended up becoming friends. And anyway, we've been friends for years. But I've never asked you a question. Yeah. Who the heck is your favourite superhero? He used to be Batman until he used Ben Affleck Batman. played him. Now it's not Batman. <laughs> oh, and even we, even we can't escape the bashing. Sorry, oh, sorry, all your Affleck lovers, but he ruined Batman. It's not a bad man. Uh, oh, poor Ben Affleck. I didn't think you did that bad a job, but I'm too nice. You come from the underworld, so you're allowed to be a jerk about it. Um. So who is now then? Um, like second place would have been like Wolverine or Deadpool. Probably one of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because they don't give a crap, you know? They're the yeah. shades of grey, kind of. Especially Deadpool. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, Nudge is a massive fan of the, the shades of grey. Actually, so it would by far. That's one of the things we have in common. Yeah. Both, uh, you know, we, don't, we don't like to see one side or the other. We live in the shades of grey. And, so, and that's why... That's, that's why um, Not the erotic type for you. Dirty minded folk. Yeah. Well, so so you know who mine is, right? Superman. Oh my god! <laughs> you said that deliberately, you jerk. <laughs> oh my god! No, Superman's the worst. He's so lame. He is the Batman. worst. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the S Man, the Spider Man, oh. the proper S Man. Hey, Spider Man, yes. still out from MCU. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, from all the news I've read, yes, he still, Tom Holland has lost his contract. Ah. Um, he and, he and Artie J, so Robert Downey Jr., ladies and gentlemen, made a comment. Re- well, like they posted some video. I haven't actually watched it yet. But yeah, it sucks. I was so sad about it. But that does bring me to my next talking point for us this this evening, which is like I, I was having a so I'm a bit of a, a cinephile. I love I love my movies, yeah. and you know I'm not like I'm not. I've got friends out there who are far more uh, probably they're probably far better as movie critics than me. Yeah. But I kind of wanted to talk about like how the superhero movie has changed so much in the 21st century as compared to when you and I were teenagers um, yeah. and watching things like uh, Michael Keaton in Tim Burton's version of Batman. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that to me was like the first superhero movie I ever saw. Um, and it was amazing. Like, I do remember, I remember, yeah, and I remember, you know, hearing the music, dun, 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 <laughs> Nudge might actually add the music on later. But, um, <laughs> you know, like, that was there, – there was Batman, right? And then they did Batman Returns. And, like, the story wasn't epic. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. it was just Batman. And you saw him and he had a new look for the movie, which everybody liked. And he had a new Batmobile for the movie, and it was dark and gritty, and yeah. but it wasn't. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like it was like its own. It was just a movie. Do you know what I mean? Like it was just a. Yeah. It was just Batman. I think. I think the the feelings of Batman was what made me really like Batman. Hmm. Like Joker <laughs> and Catwoman, they were awesome. Yeah. No, they—they are. That's the whole reason I like Batman. I'm not actually a 
I'm sorry to any DC fans out there in our listening community, but I've never been as big a fan of DC as I am of Marvel. Mm. Batman is probably my favourite, but it's exactly the same reason I agree with you. It's every villain Batman faces, like, they really are epically horrible. Well, maybe it just made me Joker. He's such a good villain. Yeah, he is. He's the best villain in my opinion. I mean, that new movie looks really fun. I don't watch that. But you see, so, that, so yeah, that's my point. Like, you see, like, even the Joker, right? Mm. DC's sort of trying to do what Marvel's done with the MCU. Are they? But is it going to be connected? Well, connected? no, so that's the thing. I don't think the Joker is connected to that DC universe. Yeah, I think that's actually good. So you you like that? You like that idea? I like how it's like, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure how I feel like... I don't have anymore. <laughs> In that, what, what, what were they called? What's the DC's... Um, Justice League, yeah, first Justice League movie. When well, yeah. there's Superman and like all the shenanigans, man, that Batman did. It was so bad. Like really, it's like bad joke, Batman. I know. He just ruined it. Oh, poor, poor Ben Affleck. That's so. Anyway, I mean, it might not be his fault. He could be um the writer, but still. Mm. Anyway, so the point, I'll go, go back to what I was talking about. Mm. So you got you got Batman, right? And that was kind of, like, for me, that's the kind of first superhero movie I really remember. Yeah. Because then, then came Batman Returns, and then the less oh, popular <laughs> Batman. <laughs> then you had the I less Batman. Like Adam West, Dave. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, well, that's it. I'm, I'm a Schwarzenegger and um, Jim Carrey and his mask. Yeah. And, you know? Yeah, yeah, so you had Batman Forever and that went back to that horrible kitsch. Yeah. 1915 Adam West Batman. And then <laughs> Batman and Robin, which was just, oh, my God, let's not even talk about it. And then, my, you know, then Sony bought uh, the rights to Spider-Man and the X-Men yeah. in the 90s. And for those of you who don't know, that was actually done to save Marvel Comics, if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, they in um, financial trouble. Yeah, they were they were very much near they were near bankruptcy, and so Sony yeah. sort of dug them out of a pretty decent hole, which unfortunately is the predicament we're stuck in today with Spider Man. But they make the first Spider Man movie, and it's got a uh, Tobey Maguire in it, and mm. I, I mean, I was I was blown away. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is amazing. Tobey Maguire, and I was so glad it was Tobey Maguire because I, I don't know if you remember, but they were like saying it might have been Leonardo DiCaprio no, no. as Spider Man. That would have no. that would have been so bad. It would have been horrible. I always make fun of. I, I looked hats off to Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he's played some really awesome. Oh parts. yeah, he's a great actor. But mm. He's not Spider Man. No, he couldn't have been Spider Man. He would have been too dramatic and It'd be more like a Iron Man. Yeah, he probably could have played. Iron Man if RDJ hadn't done it. But anyway, so Spider-Man comes out and they tried to sort of do, well, they did three separate movies and, of course, the third movie was an absolute shocker yeah. with, um, you know, Moody, Moody Tobey Maguire doing his little strut thing down there. Kind of like Batman Forever kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, right, Change exactly. So yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so then... So then you sort of had the first one, which was fantastic. The second one, uh, okay, yeah, they've got Dr. Octopus. It's a little bit more full on. Mm. But it was just, it, like, it, it kind of tried to continue, but it wasn't, like, a really great continuation. Yeah. And then you had and then you had the X-Men movies, and they did the same thing. They tried to continue on the story, but it wasn't great. Yeah. And then along, and along comes the guys from the MCU, okay? So 10 years ago. And they start Iron Man, which when I saw that, blew my mind. <laughs> As a Marvel fan, it blew my mind. And I, I actually have to, I have to thank. Oh, she didn't want me to talk about it, but I'm gonna. No, no, I'm gonna just say this. So, uh, shout out to my wife again because she's the one. She's the reason I actually uh, started to really love the MCU. Because when I walked in, mm. um. When I walked in, 
um, she sort of said to me, you've got to stop comparing it to the comics. Like I might be trying to do comic arcs, but this is obviously a different universe. And I was like, oh, duh. <laughs> so, yes, I had a massive dirt on it. But as soon as I got over that and I watched Tony Stark for the first time, it was amazing. And But then, then came out the second movie and then there was a full movie and they kind of linked and there were little bits that connected the two movies together. And I was like, what the hell? This is freaking amazing. And then there were more and more, and now we've gotten to Endgame and Phase 3 is finished and the whole thing is done and we're going into another phase now. And it, it's just blown my mind how the, how the, like how the superhero, like the MCU has really changed, like the way we tell stories mm. and how we can develop characters in movies better. So it's not just sticking to that three hour runtime. Like there are ways now that we could fully flesh out a character yeah. and, and multiple characters. Yeah. But I, I just, I don't know. Did you, how do you think, how do you feel about like, it? Like, do you think? Yeah, I agree how it allows for all those benefits. But I just think mm. like, because I'm not like a big comic book, guy, you know, like, I like some of those superheroes, but, like, some of them I don't really care for, so it, 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 it's hard to just, like, pick and choose the movies that I want to watch, like I used to, because if I start, yeah, right. you know, I only watch the ones that I like, like Iron Man and Galaxy, or Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff, but then they start mm. sprinkling information from the other MCU movies, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, and right. I, yeah, and then I, I just become behind. Because, like, I don't really care for Thor or Captain America, you know? So, I don't watch any of them because I don't care. Mm. <laughs> right, okay. So, so for someone like me who's a mega fan, maybe maybe I'm looking at this with rose-colored or rose-tinted glasses. No, it's great because, you know, you get, all, you get all the info, you get all the big picture stuff. Yeah, for people like you, yeah. awesome. So you do like the idea, but like yeah. you're you're not someone like me who would watch the entire thing and be yeah, like, not, oh my god, not invested enough. Like I still haven't watched Endgame because I'm not going to understand any of it, and I don't mm. really. It doesn't really bother me at all. There you go. But I still watched um, Spider Man, um, the first one. Far from uh, yeah, 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 and that was fine. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no, that I saw that. That was fantastic. The first yeah. one. That was he, Tom Holland is. Yeah, he's and nice. if, if Mr. Holland sort of does a Google search and hears this, yes, Mr. Holland, you are a fantastic actor. <laughs> you are the perfect Spider Man. Um, it was no, it was amazing. It was it's so 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 good. Like I absolutely love Spider Man. He's my favorite hero. And he's like, and the thing I love about Spider Man, he's like Clark. You know, he's like Superman. But better yeah. because you know he try he keeps his superhero identities a secret, um, for you know to protect those around him. He doesn't like he doesn't hide who he is because like Superman who hides who he is because he doesn't want to be bothered as an alien. I mean, oh my god, seriously. And I know some listeners are out there going, no, oh, he's far more complex than that. But you you won't convince me, ladies and gentlemen. He is not my favorite superhero. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so yes, I think I, I, I hope to see more though. More studios do things like this where they do these massive arts. Like we can actually tell like look at and you look at um look at Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like that was an amazing series. And if we can do a series like Game of Thrones and we can do the MCU, I mean I just think there's just heaps of potential to bring out you know other other genres and other books and things, um, and look at look at them because it's just you know amazing and really like I guess for me hats off to Peter Jackson who I actually think is a bit of a father of that thing because he's because um, Lord of the Rings is a pretty impressive yeah. sort of show of that. Interesting. I didn't like the book. You didn't like the book. I love the book. I've read <laughs> the book about nine times, but that's you know that's me. I'm a massive nerd. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Hey? It's not my style. Oh, it's not your cup of tea? Yeah. Mm. 
So uh, what have you got planned for the rest of the week, Nudge? What are you doing? Um, nothing much. I might, might take some time off work, so, you know, I'll just focus yeah. on uh, myself. <laughs> well, just fine. Well, you know, don't, don't focus on yourself too much, okay? Nothing's <laughs> wrong. I'm so gross. I'm sorry, everybody. Um... Oh, that's cool. You're lucky. I can't have time off. I have to stay. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Go to bed. You just play games and go to bed. No, you I mean, know what? Screw you, it. you stop playing. Uh, go to bed. And you're up tired. But I don't want to. <laughs> I like playing video games. And I have so many I have to play. I have so many I have to play. <laughs> Oh. One of the things. What's um, that? Like our our time is so precious, so our attention is really like value valued. So if mm. the story doesn't engage us straight away, we just you know skip it. Yeah, that's it. No, that's 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 another thing. Like I know, you know, like again, like I think the MCU sort of has to exist in this day and age because. If, if those titles had all been sort of one-shots like Spider-Man and Batman and the X-Men and other superhero <laughs> movies, it, they probably wouldn't be anywhere near as popular. I mean, like, you look at the other X-Men movies that Sony have been producing and they're yeah. not – they just they just don't have the same smash as, like, Avengers and Guardians and Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and all the other ones that are part of – and Black Panther, which is an amazing movie. Mm. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh, hey, we've got a wedding coming up in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. That should be fun. Okay. Yeah. Do you, want, do you want me to drive you? Yeah. That would be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> I will drive you. To, I will drive us to the wedding. <laughs> I will drive us to the wedding. It should be good. Um, so you're going, you're going on holiday, what, next week or the week after? Uh, I think the week after. I wish I could have time. Although that said, we, we will still bring you the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going into surgery like the week after that, or the, the end of that two weeks, I'll be going into surgery. Yeah, that's right. Mm, that's going to suck. Yeah, and we'll still- because it's like, it's a, it's a surgery where you can't sit down after. So you can't yeah, that's right. I have to lie like a Roman emperor for like two weeks. <laughs> My wife's going to love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so but don't worry folks we will keep the podcast coming we'll keep it coming and keep it coming because <laughs> we, we love you listening but yeah make sure this week guys put some comments in the comment section let us know what we're doing let us know what you'd like us to talk about we, you know we're going to keep talking about nerdy things and board games and we'll come up with some more segments you know we've got our first segment which is the random thought of the week which will be uh um, Nudge will come up with a new one next week, won't you? That's a lot of pressure. I have to think of random stuff every week. Yeah, you can do that. I try. You, you, you know, you're one of the lords of the underworld. You'll be fine. We'll find something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. It's yeah. kind of like, you know, you, you do those. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, don't you hate it when, you know, this and this happens and everyone goes, that never happens. <laughs> and you go, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it do- <laughs> yes, but that's why it's your segment, my friend, your random thought of the week. Um, but, yeah, ladies and gents, let's keep listening. We'll keep, we'll keep making them. You keep listening. And, as I say, comment below. Tell us what you'd like to hear, um, you know, segment ideas that we could come up with. Like, I'm coming up with stuff, but I've got to work, and so does Nudge, and, we're, you know, we're tired. Um, yeah. But yeah, we'll... we'll Are we just going to talk about stuff we do anyway? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't mind talking about random stuff. Just if you've got some suggestions, let us know, and maybe we can add them on for you. Um, dude, it's been fun talking again. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, yeah. I like doing this. It's fun. I'm glad we're doing it. Yeah. What What kind of voice do you reckon you'll go with next week? Do we have to just um, this There's not that many to choose from. I, I can create my own. I can play around with it. But well, we've got two weeks. Echoey. There's too much echo. 
and how to understand stuff. When I was like, I could edit last week's one. I could like, there's a effect called D reverb, so I can reduce the reverb. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, well, let's, we need to get you a little bubble that you can live in. Surely yeah. you can con- surely you can conjure yourself a soundproof bubble. Um, I don't know. I like this one. I might just keep this. I like this one. If you like this one, ladies and gentlemen, like us, comment below. It's, very, uh, <laughs> whimsical. it's, it's easy to hear you. It's a lot easier to hear you this week than it was last week. Yeah. yeah it definitely. was really on that low that low register. Ah, oh, excellent. All right, ladies and gents, have a great week. We will see you next week for episode three, where I think we're talking about video games and music. So I'll have to come up with what we're actually going to talk about. Um, There's games to talk about. Oh, yeah. That, it's, um, it's, yeah. It's, it's a pretty big play. I, You know, I actually wrote um, a huge paper. It was one of my few papers that I got a HD on when I was in the uni. So yeah. I can talk about video games and music forever. Yeah, um, I did a mess silent on it in high school as well. Excellent. Yeah. You, dig out, you, you dig out that assignment. I'll put okay. out my HD assignment. We've got an episode, ladies and gents. We've got an episode. Uh, remember, if you did like our co- podcast, hit the subscribe button below. The more subscribers we have, the happier we are. And, you know, keep looking and then you sell it to me. And smash uh, that like. Smash that like. That's what they say. That's, I think that is. I think yeah. that's a phrase. Anyway, from Nemos and from Nunch, thank you for listening and we'll catch you next week in episode three. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.